Welcome everybody to this new lecture on the ENT and today we are going to start the nasal septum as well as its diseases. So first of all the basic anatomy of the nasal septum we have studied it in the anatomy of the nose in the detailed anatomy of the nose but here just a brief overview. So first of all the nasal septum so the nasal septum is a thin wall it's a thin wall that is made up of the cartilage as well as the bone and it divides the nasal cavity into right and left halves. Now we all know that the nasal cavity is this pyramid shaped cavity which is the internal nose. So this nasal cavity is divided into two portions into the left and right portion by this nasal septum. Now uh, this nasal cavity mainly includes a vestibule which is the outer portion then there is a medial wall a lateral wall of the nasal cavity and we have a floor as well as a roof of the nasal cavity so this medial wall is actually your nasal septum this medial wall of the nasal cavity over here and here so this is formed by the nasal septum okay moving ahead now the composition of the nasal septum first of all the nasal septum is divided into following three parts one is the columellar portion this is the columellar septum then there is a small portion of the membranous septum that lies in between the septal cartilage and the uh, columellar septum so the columellar septum then the membranous septum and finally we have the septum proper so this is your hole is your septum proper this is your membranous and this is your columellar septum now starting with the columellar septum so it is since it is present in the columella so this septum is basically the columellar portion and we know that the columella is the uh, tiny is the area in between your nostrils the area in between your nostrils so that's your columella and this columellar septum this is mainly formed by the medial crust of the major alar cartilage if you remember the anatomy over here we have studied that this is the nasal bone this is the maxilla and this is the uh, lateral cartilage then we have the major alar cartilage and the minor alar cartilage and this is the fibro fatty tissue so this major uh, this major alar cartilage it is u-shaped and its u-shape it has a lateral crust that is forming the lateral wall or the ella and then there we have the medial crust that forms the columella which is the area in between your two nostrils so that's your columellar septum and this columellar septum along with this membranous septum over here so this is lined by the skin moreover the septum proper this septum proper is lined by the mucous membrane which we'll see shortly first of all so a columellar portion is done now let's talk about the membranous septum so membranous septum is actually the portion of the uh, of the septum where there is no cartilage or bone so it is just full of the skin and you can feel it by if you just uh, hold the columella in between your index finger and your thumb and if you just pinch it a bit downward and then you will feel this uh, area above it so that has got no cartilage or no bone in it just uh, two layers of the skin that are opposing one another so, so this area uh, since it is lined by the skin that's why there is pre uh, the hairs are present over here and these hairs uh, does not allow large objects to enter into the uh, nasal cavity so it's had uh, these na hairs have the protective role now let's talk about the septum proper the septum proper is made up of the cartilage as well as the bone so the cartilage in front and the bone mainly behind so first of all there is a uh, if you talk about the bone so there is a perpendic perpendicular plate of the ethmoid bone you can see it over here then there is a uh, warmer bone this is your warmer bone then you have got this main cartilage the septal cartilage which uh, um, which is present which also forms the bridge of the nose as well a small portion of the bridge of the nose as well as you can see uh, it is going down posteriorly to attach with the perpendicular plate of its mind Moreover, there is a groove in the anterior portion of the warmer bone in which this sub septal cartilage is present over there in this groove and anteriorly it is over here supported by this uh, small spine that is called as anterior nasal spine of the maxilla so it is supported in this groove and anterior by that spine so they hold this uh, septal cartilage in position and this septal cartilage is very important because it provides support to the dorsum of the nose and um, uh, and it uh, the it mainly uh, not only it uh, divide the nasal cavity into two portion as well so it has supportive function as well as the prote as well as the uh, partition function moreover the a septal cartilage you can see it is um, a hold in position by the perpendicular plate of ethmoid and warmer bone mainly, mainly by the groove in the warmer bone and the anterior nasal spine there is also some minor contribution from the other bone that form the uh, nasal septum 
so first of all over here you can see the crust of the nasal bone these are the two nasal bone if you look over here so the two nasal bones they form the uh, upper bony dorsum of the nose and then over here this is your septal cartilage that is shown the septal cartilage that goes deep inside so and it is shown a bit over here as well so a portion of the uh, this is your nasal bone the crest of the nasal bone posteriorly there is a rostrum of the sphenoid bone then there are small crest of the palatine bone and the maxilla so all these crusts these small bones also take part in the formation of the nasal septum let's move ahead and now the uh, next we have is the functions first of all it forms the partition of the nasal cavity and it also support the tip and the dorsum of the nose so these are its functions now if there is any injury to this uh, if there is any injury to this septal cartilage mainly so what will happen that since it support the dorsum of the nose over here so what will happen that this depression of the uh, uh, the tip of the nose it occurs and that is called a supra tip depression since the support of the um, uh, septum is lost so as a result the tip what happens to the tip that it just bends down or it just droops off so that is called a supratip depression M moreover we also have said that it comes the uh, septum comes over here and it actually it is uh, attached to this lateral cartilage as well so if there is any uh, Mm, disformity of the nasal septum so as a result what will happen that the deformity will also appear in this lateral cartilage since it is attached to it so there will be depression of the lower part of the nose as well so this cartilage in this part of the nose will be affected moving ahead now we'll talk about the arteries that are present at the nasal septum so the nasal septum is mainly covered by the mucous membrane and in that you have uh, you will see the long, uh, number of arteries first of all the anterior ethmoid artery then the posterior ethmoid artery so you can see anterior ethmoid and posterior ethmoid artery then there is one artery coming from the behind that is phenopalatine artery the greater palatine artery comes from below so there is a greater palatine artery and a superior labial, labial artery and these all of these arteries the anastomose in the anterior inferior region of the nasal cavity on the nasal septum anterior anterior inferior region of the nasal septum and they form this plexus which is all that, uh, called as the caisal uh, back plexus and this plexus this is very important because this this is the main site that is involved in the epistaxis so mainly the epistaxis we will see the diseases of the nasal septum the different diseases so one of them you will see that the epistaxis so this region will be mainly involved in the epistaxis Thank you. Uh, that will be all for now. If you have found this video beneficial, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for the other lecture videos and other medical stuff. Moreover, uh, if there is any shortcoming, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you.